Hey guys, uh, so here again with a another BIM Manager tip. So using OneNote to track projects. So there's a variety of ways to track projects. Um, one way I'm looking at is to use um, Python to extract data from Clarity. Well, so Clarity extracts the data from Revit models and then um, I can use Python to extract that data and push it to um, uh, BIM execution plans and I can also use a variety of other documents um, and also you know such uh, information such uh, as Deltek um, and project setup from there and pulling that information out as well and kind of populating the uh, BIM execution plan in there so there's a a variety of different things to to also think about too because you know you, your pro, your Revit models might not be set up already so it's really you know initially wherever that information starts if it is a BIM execution plan we push from there if not we push to other places like OneNote and and um, and um, Dell Tech and things like that but if you know initially it starts at Dell Tech, then we use that information extract it, populate OneNote, and then populate uh, BIM execution plan and all the other necessary documentation. Um, so, and then the idea behind that is if I can track all my BIM execution plans, then I understand what information isn't filled out, what information isn't there for those projects. Because generally, uh, being the fact that I'm you know in an entire region, I want to make sure that when I jump on a project, that I'm not entirely aware of what's happened, that I can reference that one or that BIM execution plan and get a good idea where everything stands um, for that project. What is it that we're doing? Are we doing coordination? What uh, models are in here? What you know? Who are the uh, partners on this project? Uh, who are the team members? And, and so on. And I kind of leverage right now OneNote uh, in between that. And OneNote, I kind of document generic information like task and where project um, information is. Let's let's go to the next slide real quick. We can kind of get an idea. So I document like lessons learned, task, team information, project information, tracking the projects, and um, you know, uh, just to kind of have um, a one-stop area for all my information. Now, the idea behind this is to kind of automate majority of that. Some of the processes are, are automated, but it's not together in a holistic fashion. It's not, you know, all tied together. But the idea is to move into that direction. And, and a huge thing for me is simplicity, but also to be more passive. I don't necessarily want to be involved in every single project, uh, flying around in a model, uh, spending all my time uh, doing tedious, redundant work, hoping to find some problems so I can fix them. Um, the idea is to kind of just sit by and let the system let me know um, and then be proactive in that way. So letting me know before something happens. because. I tell you, I have no idea how people would get, be proactive with Revit models unless they were only managing two of them. But if you're working on um, a whole bunch of different models at the same time, being proactive on every single one is really difficult because you're going to have to be in every meeting, every conversation, what it is that people are doing, be in every model. And uh, if you're not leveraging the data behind that, then I don't think you're truly, um, you know, being effective in, in your in your job. So um, um, to kind of show you uh, what I've set up as a template in my OneNote so far, um, I'll, I'll open up OneNote. But just to kind of let you know, I can't show too much other than the template itself. Uh, the, a lot of the projects on there that I have are kind of confidential and can't be shared. So I can't necessarily share that, but you'll get the gist of how I use it. All right, with OneNote open, you can see I've got up here um, templates. So generally, the name of this would be a um, project number and then a little description. Over here to the right are project details. So I'll have a, a short project description, the, the location to the BIM execution plan, um, which actually this can be removed. Um, because I actually have that down below. So the BIM, ex, BIM X location, so that's right here. 
Then I have uh, BIM 360, Revit server, local location, because we actually have projects on all three. So um, right here, I'll, I'll put the uh, where that model is located and then what version is it on, if, if it's on Revit 2018 or 19, whatever the case, I, I put that information here. Uh, project location, so where is the project uh, uh, folder at? And then, you know, uh, again, a short description. And then below here, um, I've got, you know, the weekly task. So these are going to be almost like scheduled task or, or something like that. So some of it would be like um, um, doing an audit or a compact or a rebuild or, or, or you know, this, this model is incredibly large and, and a lot of things are going on. So just a weekly maybe um, fly through just to make sure everything's coming together and it's, it's being um, modeled correctly and whatnot. Um, to just monitor a variety of things, maybe even standards and, and, and stuff. Um, and then also to you know, work with the teams as well and kind of get their input on what, what processes or, or problems are they running into that we can automate and fix. Um, also, um, task. So these are going to be generic tasks. So like, uh, hey, I need this fix. I have a family that's um, not working the way it's supposed to or it's not scheduling the way it's supposed to. I need it to to do that um, and I would put that information here or hey I need um, um, this model it isn't linked correctly or or the um, or the the most common one the I can't see 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 this when I place it or, or my the visibility of this isn't isn't here um, you know just generic tasks like that you know if it's a if it's like a one-time coordination um, clash detection um, um, task then I would place that here as well and then when I finish it I just move it down to completed um, right now this is kind of a manual process and and for the most part I kind of want to keep it this way um, at least for the short term the idea is to ultimately automate the entire process of all this stuff and again kind of be passive but uh, being kind of new at the company this kind of gives me good insights into the projects and you know manually documenting all this kind of you know just helps me retain all that information um again you know there's always a better way of doing it uh, and i'd love to hear you know your input if if you have any um but right now you know the the idea is to kind of manually add that information um to this one note and then over here um project team so i'll put the team members kind of like the primary you know contacts like uh, maybe the uh, architectural lead uh the pm um some of those folks, uh, the if we have like a BIM, almost a BIM lead or, or a BIM savvy person or, or some of the Revit users, I'll, I'll add them there as well. And then these are notes. Um, so the, this is a variety of things. Um, I like to kind of put lessons learned. So like if I'm fixing a problem and I find out that it's not, you know, the like it was a little bit more complex or it was some weird fix I had to do, then I'll note that down here and kind of talk about it. Um, and then um, from there, um, you know, I'll add some other stuff too, just like some generic um, things that may not even pertain to the model, but just, um, you know, workflows and team members and stuff, kind of like just lessons learned on that. You know, should we do better communication on this? What it is we should uh, predefine, you know, beforehand, uh, just stuff like that. And then I can take these notes later on. I could either reference them or I can take them and then build something out of it, you know, like a, uh, a presentation on lessons learned and stuff like that. Um, you know, even tracking like um, our benefits and ROI out of some of our processes as well. So, um, you know, to each is their own. So this is one way that I do it. I'm not saying it's the only way. Um, it helps me kind of consolidate everything down into one one area the manual process helps me retain the information a little bit better and then um, you know overall manage it a little bit more effectively um, again you know there's a better way probably and I'd like to hear your inputs hopefully if you didn't have a good way to manage projects this kind of gives you an idea of what to do and what also is really really helpful and this depends on the size of your firm but if you're working with a whole bunch of different team members or if you have an entire BIM team um, you know there's folks that take PTO days there's folks that get sick there's there's things that happen and when other people have to be involved with a project if you don't have great great you know standards um, in place uh, 
and and the idea is that this kind of augments that as well so you can leverage this to, to almost um, replace that but you know if you don't have good, great standards in place and great you know workflows that you know are established within the company then when you bring on new people into projects how would they know anything that's going on they they they, they want it um, and so I you know use this to transition into um, transition this to other people as well so if I take a day off then I would give them this and say hey, okay this is my weekly task these are kind of what I'm doing this is the project um, kind of give them an idea um, where everything's at so they're good to go and and they don't have to worry you know about finding all this information um, and wasting a lot of time um, and again you know that a lot of that's just standards and, and good workflows each project you know some depending on the project types and stuff and teams you know are kind of like different so you know documenting and those things as well so that the transition is easy um, so yeah hopefully this helps you um, it helps me when I started doing this um, let me know if um, you guys are doing it in a different way it's always nice to hear you know different ways of doing kind of the same things um, but yeah thanks a lot for watching